My son, we do not fight because the world makes us fight. We fight for a greater purpose. We forge into the unknown to fulfill the promise we made. No matter the darkness, Nothing will stand in our way. Again. What is going on YouTube? This is Jim, back with another video, and today we're going to be unboxing the God of War Collector's Edition. Now, I've done the best that I can to put all the emphasis on the action here, so I'm going to move my camera down a bit. And we're going to focus on this puppy here. Don't worry about me. Everything is all about this Collector Edition. Now, this is the God of War Collector Edition. It is not the Stone Mason Edition. The Stone Mason Edition includes some other small figurines. And for uh, like another $15 or $20 price point, this is not that. So there is a Collector Edition that is better than this Collector Edition. But this includes the statue and a lot of the pieces that I felt were important to it. So that's what I got. I love this box. I'm going to tell you why. It prominently features both Kratos and his son. A lot of times with these collector editions, they kind of skimp on the box. This is a nice heavy-duty box. It's got a lot of the Norse mythology on it. It's got the contents, which I'm going to blow past because I just want to be somewhat surprised. I don't remember everything that's in here. But I like the fact that it's just a nice heavy box that looks good. It's not cheap cardboard. It says God of War prominently displayed on it, and it's not gaudy. And I love that. And I know that sounds funny, but somebody like me who is a big collector likes to – oh, big collector. That wasn't a fat joke, by the way. I really am a collector of big things. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I just like that they have a good box because a lot of times these boxes are junky, and what ends up happening is um, you get just, I don't know, uh, exp a box that you're kind of stuck with that you don't really like. I do like to display my boxes, and in a perfect world – Holy smokes, I cannot get this sucker out. In a perfect world, um, I would display them all, but I ran out of room. Uh, that's the problem with being a collector of everything and not wanting to throw anything away um, is exactly that. And to my surprise, as soon as I can pop this sucker out, oh, there we go. To my surprise, inside the box is yet another box. So now we're done with box number one. Now we're on to another box, and this looks just as cool. Features a lot of artwork from the game. This is a very prominent scene. Hopefully the reflection from the window isn't messing up the vision, your view too much. This is the prominent scene that we saw in the trailer with Kratos and his son on the boat where they meet the World Eater. Um, that was a really prominent trailer. And inside that box is another box. No, <laughs> no more boxes. All right, let's pull this sucker apart and see what we have. Laying across the top is a uh, the God Award game inside a cardboard. Looks like there's some stuff inside here. So let's open this up. Very efficient use of space on these collector editions lately. I like that they're packed well. Um, I have gotten collector editions that have been damaged in transport. I'm looking at you, Amazon. That's frustrating to me, to say the least. So I don't mind the fact that there's a little extra packaging in here. Kind of forces me to take my time and open everything. And now maybe when my wife does these, because usually she's my uh, my sidekick, my right-hand man, um, usually she does a lot better job of opening this while I can kind of talk. So you're going to have to bear with me while I kind of work through some of the fine details here. And inside here is yet another box with what appears to be the big statue. Very, very well protected. Lots and lots of plastic. And uh, I'm going to do a quick jump cut here and jump through this sucker and save your guys' eardrums, and I will be right back. Ta-da! And through the magic of video editing, we have now got most of this unwrapped. I wanted to stop because I wanted to give you guys my true reaction as I kind of peel the last little pieces off. This uh, statue is very well protected. Look how high this pile of stuff is now. It's, it's as tall as me. That's how many boxes and wrappings and such were on this thing. 
Um, I like that they took attention to detail, that they put things like this around the statue. I'm telling you guys, as a collector, I've been collecting these things my entire adult life. Nothing is more frustrating than getting a statue that has some crap on it, and it's very frustrating. Let me take a quick look at this, and then I'll give you guys my no-kidding reaction. Okay, that is very, very, very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, statue first, and then we'll talk about some of the other contents that we got. Let me get the camera nice and close up here, up close and personal, so you guys can take a look at it with me. Stand by while I do some video magic. There we go. All right, here's what we got. Okay, you have Kratos and his son, Atreus, standing side by side. What I love about this, the first thing that I always complain about, hey, the dog loves it too, apparently. Cut it out. The first thing I noticed that I love about this statue, there is no God of War on the base. They finally listened to me. This statue does not need a God of War or an Omega symbol on. As a matter of fact, if you look around the entire base, there's no branding at all, and I love that. Let the statue speak for itself, guys. Learn a thing or two from this, okay? Uh, here, first we have Kratos. Let's take a look at him. Very well detailed. There's a Leviathan axe in one hand. His shield up here kind of like shielding both him and the sun. And you could see here a really cool kind of action scene where the axe is swinging through and cleaving this villain. And then you kind of notice that actually, you know, the guy is there. There are these corpses, and Kratos is standing over him, a very domina dominating like position. I really like that. A lot of attention to detail too here on his back. He's got some items. Looks like he's got like a flask, uh, uh, some sort of knife. He's got a satchel. He's got a horn. These are probably all in-game items that mean something. Again, I haven't played the game, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. Uh, then we have his son, Atreus. And Atreus is standing here um, with a bow. Looks like he just released um, the shot. Clearly, his fingers are kind of still in that position. And there you could see the arrow. Slightly bent. I could probably tweak that up a little bit. But the arrow going right through the guy's head. And the helmet kind of like knocked off, and he's kind of kicking him down. This is an amazing action shot. Uh, father and son standing side by side, v vanquishing the evil. I am so glad I got this piece, and it just screams God of War to me. Um, the paint on it looks really, really good. Uh, I love the attention to detail on all the little uh, gadgets that Kratos has on his belt, um, the tassels and stuff on his armor, his boots, the way they have snow kind of flaked on them. Even his son, his son with the quiver of arrows on his back, and it looks like his son has... Um, like a, a guard on his wrist to, you know, like help him when he shoots his arrow. Uh, the string is even bendy. If you had another arrow, look, you could pew, 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 pew. I guess if you wanted to, you could probably try to knock it there, but it wouldn't make any sense. But really, really good statue. I'm very, very pleased with this. This is amazing. Uh, but that wasn't all the collector edition came with. It came with, um, I don't know. Oops. <laughs> I always check the box in the back to see what I got. Apparently, there's some more stuff that I missed. So I'm going to have to go back and do a little bit of spelunking again. That's the... I, I don't know what video it was, but there was a video that I had a collector's edition, and I had to do an amendment video later on because I didn't realize I didn't find everything. And I'm glad I'm looking at the contents of the box because clearly I missed something. That, um, it was these little statues that I was supposed to get that I didn't. I remember what it was. Uh, it was... Um, what was the game? Uh, For Honor. The game For Honor, I actually thought that I was supposed to uh, get the... I couldn't find the game. <laughs> Here's what must be the last little piece here. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get back into the goodies. So we also have a map. It looks like a cloth map of the world. I've never been a big fan of these in uh, particular. Um, they don't really do a lot for me. They don't necessarily display very well. I'm assuming this is the bottom. And it looks just kind of like a map of the world. Um, you could see a lot of writing across the sides and the top. I'm sure somebody's already gone through and translated what all this stuff means. Um, maps don't display well, again, for a lot of different reasons, primarily because you're not going to remember the map. Um, you're going to remember the game. You're, th there's really nothing about this that's going to stand out. But it's a nice little... I would say this is what you call like those fil filler tier items, where it's like something that's like, well... It's not something I'm going to necessarily use or display or anything, but I guess it's not bad to have. Uh, we also have this thing right here. It just says God of War on uh, like a big postcard. I'm not exactly even sure what this is. This might be the art piece. A lot of times these games uh, feature what they call a lithograph. 
they use that term very, very liberally. Um, I've seen lithographs uh, incredibly small. I've seen lithographs very large. So this is usually some sort of artwork, I'm going to guess. Um, and let me go ahead and open up inside and pull out the magic. And in here is, yep, exactly what I thought it was. Here is a lithograph of Kratos and his son standing there looking like uh, a bunch of dudes are coming at him. You know, this scene's very reminiscent of to me. This looks a lot like a scene you would see in Game of Thrones. And there is a little message here on the back. Finding the first single image that can speak to an entire team about the core vision of a game that only exists in your head can be maddeningly difficult. It takes weeks or even months of writing, talking, arguing, and even pleading to create that perfect picture a lot more than they did to get the first concept piece. I would, uh, I would have too. There we go. Look at that camera focus. About time, buddy. I would have too had I not been fortunate enough to work with Jose Cabrera an artist who truly ellipses any word my tiny brain could ever think to describe it. All it took was a couple paragraphs in a Skype call where I rambled incoherently about the vision of a game and two weeks later, as if down from Valhalla on the wings of a Valkyrie, this incredible image shows up in my inbox. It was perfect. I'm not kidding. The very first thing he showed us was pretty damn close to the final image you see here. And I think I thought this is what we're going to make. And that was quickly followed by, oh crap, how the hell are we going to do this? Corey Balrog, the creative director. Nice little note there. This is a nice picture. Um, this could actually be something worth displaying if it wasn't for the statue. Um, I don't necessarily like how washed out it is. I wish it was a little more action. I'll tell you something cool I just noticed is that's a big ass dude standing there. That's probably what Kratos is looking at. He's probably like, oh my God, what is what is what are we about to get ourselves into? So that's a nice little piece as well. Also, we have a steel book, which I love the steel book. It says God of War on the side, which I'm okay with, and a message on the back. I'm sure somebody's translated this. Uh, this must be kind of like the official logo. We've seen this quite a bit in the game. Inside the steel book, we have the game. Thank goodness. We also have some digital content, which includes a Death Vow armor set, a Exile Guardian Shield, a God of War digital comic number zero. Brent, get ready. God of War digital art book and a dynamic theme, and there's a code to redeem everything. If you accidentally saw the code while I was flashing it, don't worry. I've already redeemed it. Don't even try. Um, but I'll tell you, though, that um, I don't like the fact that the art book isn't in the game. Or is it in the game? Why would the art book be in the game? I don't like that the art book is not included in the uh, a physical form. And there's the game. Now, I know a lot of people have mentioned that in the... Um, a lot of people have mentioned in the regular edition of the game that the inside jacket is actually a reversible image. Obviously, on a steelbook, you don't have that luxury. I'm okay with this. I love steelbooks. I love, I just love the look of them. I love the feel of them. This one's got nice raised emblems and everything. It's very, very pretty. So I'm very happy with this. Um, no issues there. Last and certainly not least, I hope, is this mystery box here, which includes these little figurines. Now, if you bought the uh, Norse, uh, the Stonemason edition then you would actually get, I believe, another set of these as well. These are little figures, and I don't know what the game actually calls them. They're known as 2-inch Holdra Brothers carving. So here's the Holdra Brothers. Uh, there these little dudes are. There you go. Come on, camera. Uh, there you go. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa. 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 <laughs> well, you, there we go. All right, the Holger brothers. One's holding a hammer, one's holding a hammer. They're both holding hammers. How about that? Little tiny um, hard plastic figurines. I don't know if I like these or not. I, I don't really care one way or another. I know the other edition came with more of them, so I was like, well, I don't really know if that's like a big deal to me, like if that's something that I actually would be interested in collecting, so I vowed to not get them. So there you guys have it. Let's do a final wrap-up of my hand. No, let's do a final wrap-up of what comes inside the box. This is where I spend way too long trying to pose everything all pretty-like for you guys. We'll drape the map here in the front, and we'll put the little figures in front. There's quite a, a, a collection here of things. Obviously, the home run being the statue. I absolutely adore that statue. It is gorgeous. Uh, it's on par with the Aloy statue. You know, when 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 PlayStation puts together uh, a collector's edition for a first-party game, they definitely go all out, and I definitely feel that way here. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase. 
this statue will definitely find a place to the front of the shelf. I'm very, very eager to jump into this game and experience it. I've heard wonderful things about it. I'm not letting my love for God of War nor the insane reviews that this game is getting cloud my judgment on this collector edition. This was a standard price. I want to say this cost maybe 115 or so. Uh, if I could beat them up on anything, which I'm going to, I did not get a soundtrack. I did not get a physical art book. I would have much rather had those than this and this. You could take this away. You could replace these figures in this cloth map with a CD or a small art book, and I would have appreciated it much, much more. Um, and I'm really actually surprised, really, in hindsight, there is no CD because there was such an emphasis put on the creative music here. Um, kind of funny how it all worked out with... Um, Sea of Thieves prominently featuring a hurdy-gurdy uh, where you turn this little thing and it makes that kind of like piratey esque music. Well, I guess you can also use that to make some um, really cool Norse-like music. I guess that's kind of a, a, a common instrument you may see in like the Norse mythology. And I'm very surprised for as much of a deal as these guys made of the, that instrument that you're not really seeing a CD here. And I find that God of War is really synonymous with that deep rhythmic chanting music. If you think back to the E3 presentation, E3, I think 2016 was when this was first unveiled, when we saw the first gameplay of this. It might have been 15, honestly, I don't even remember. But it opened up with just the music. Not my dog barking. It did not open up with my dog barking, definitely. Because I was at a movie theater and she was in a cage. So, <laughs> um, but, you know, really, really it's hard to think of God of War without the music. So the fact that they didn't include it, I think, is a very, very big letdown for this collection. And it's something that I'm not, like, really particularly thrilled with. But I think the statue does make up for it in a lot of ways. Uh, I love the base. I love the action shot. If I had to give this a score, we agreed last time that we're not doing scores anymore. We're doing the whole yay and nay. Uh, this is definitely a yay for me. Um, you get a lot of stuff for this. It's actually really good value when you think about it. With Gamer Club Unlocked, it actually was pretty um, affordable, at least in terms of what other collector's editions have been. So there you guys have it, the God of War uh, collector's edition unboxing. This is not the Stone Mason edition, so you're only getting two of these little Bantuck figures, and, or what they call them, Harbuck or whatever. You're only getting two of these instead of all the other ones, which, again, I'm okay with. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you're a true believer, and I appreciate that. Do me a favor and subscribe. Slowly working my way back up to 800 subs. Uh, a, a thousand subs, actually. I'm trying to get to 800 first. My dog is going nuts, so that means it is time to wrap up the video. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there and collect your very own God of War Collector Edition. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.